Hello and welcome. This edition of the Army South News Update comes to you from the zoo in San Antonio, Texas. Our first story takes us to El Salvador, where key leaders from U.S. Army South met with members of the Salvadoran Army. Sergeant Joel Vasquez tells us more. Major General Joseph P. DeSalvo, the U.S. Army South Commanding General, and soldiers from U.S. Army South visited their military allies in El Salvador. The visit provided a forum for both militaries to develop plans for current and future peacekeeping, humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief. Well, we conduct these staff talks on behalf of the Chief of Staff of the Army, and for us, it's, I think it's important to put onto the table those things that are of interest to both of our countries. Basically, we're working towards mutual interests in support of security and cooperation in the region. The next staff talks for U.S. Army South will be conducted with partner nation Chile in November. Reporting for U.S. Army South Public Affairs, Sergeant Joel Vasquez. Becoming a non-commissioned officer is something that every soldier strives to be. Our next story highlights soldiers from U.S. Army South who participated in a time-honored ceremony. Today marked a historic event in the lives of soldiers from U.S. Army South. Nineteen non-commissioned officers were formally welcomed into the Corps of non-commissioned officers at an induction ceremony held on Fort Sam Houston. After listening to some words of wisdom from Command Sergeant Major Dennis Savatsky, Command Sergeant Major of U.S. Army South, each soldier walked across the stage realizing that they truly had become a member of a time-honored corps. Sergeant Matumwa, step forward across the time-honored line, sign your name into history, and join the NCO Corps. I believe at any given time in a soldier's career, when they step across that line and enter the world of a non-commissioned officer, don't be scared. <laughs> that's, the, that's the most important thing. Do not be afraid to be that leader. At the end of the day, it's going to all work out in the end. And you're going to be standing here where I'm at today. And I'll be looking at from the other side, being proud of seeing that soldier that accomplished everything that I accomplished. Because this is, to me, is a pivotal moment in my career that I'm going to always remember, that I'm going to always look back at, and I'm going to always say, I remember when I walked across that line and was inducted to the non-commissioned officer corps. And I think you just want that feeling. And I, I think that they should give this feeling to everyone else. Reporting from Joint Base San Antonio, I'm Sergeant Joel Vasquez, Army South Public Affairs. Our final story comes from Guatemala, where soldiers from U.S. Army South are exchanging skills that will help save lives. It's a skill that most soldiers hope they never have to use, but without it, their comrades on the battlefield wouldn't have a fighting chance. Soldiers from U.S. Army South recently traveled to Central America to exchange their knowledge of that valuable skill with personnel from Guatemalan Civil Police, Naval Special Forces, and Humanitarian Search and Rescue Units through an exchange known to the U.S. Army as a Combat Lifesaver course. We try to exchange with them uh, their life-saving skills. We work with them, they show us what they do, and we try to improve those skills with what we've been learning on our experience on, on medic back home. And we try to exchange with them, try to improve those skills. For example, uh, for them, usually they, they still doing uh, the tourniquet is the last resource uh, for control the hemorrhage. And we try to break that and, and, and try to improve that skills that controlling the hemorrhage is going to save their life. The skills shared during the exchange aim to increase self and first aid knowledge for all non-medical soldiers. Reporting for U.S. Army South Public Affairs, Sergeant Robert Quintero. Thanks for hanging out with us today at the zoo for this edition of the Army South News Update. For more stories like the ones on today's newscast, be sure to check out our social media sites at the link below. For U.S. Army South, I'm Sergeant Daylon Douglas. Thank you for watching.